That's a good looking gun right there. What a good looking kit. Whew. They still can't hire a Q&A team. What do they need a Q&A team for? That's what streamers are for, dude. Win wipe. Never. me do it bitch i'm just out here tapping heads man Tapping away. Jujus, Jujus. Oh God. That's a Quran back play. Okay. Here's so many different answers on that. Who knows? As far as I'm aware, yeah, the, the crouch walking being completely quiet is supposed to be in the game. I don't know if they're hundred percent satisfied with it in its current state.
Dude, I barely made it through the first like third of the map. No, yeah, this little Timmy. How do you see him? Where's I heard him. But he also kind of stuck out. It'd be easier to hide gear now. I gotta go up and touch that other body up top here. We're already full as fuck. I need a bigger bag. I didn't mess with the drip. I don't know if it's worth. Yeah, they added in chest and back plates, air mids to this. Before, I think it was just the front and back. It's still not gonna be good. No, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just taking it because it will sell well. I think the entire thing together is going to be like 150k ish kind of Zorgo uh 33.5 we'll weapon repair kit there not taking his armor nah I mean I could then I'd lose this front plate it's only 45k or 7k. Like, I'd prefer my armor over his. What I would do with his armor is just fucking sell it and then uh, turn around and repurchase this armor that I have on. It's like worth it now? Nope, I'm gonna vendor it. Vendor all of it because it's 5.1 kilogram. Like, this slick is heavy, 1.5 kilograms. And it's not um, actual good protection because it only protects like this small front portion right here. Like, this press armor I have on is better than that slick. By a lot actually and this press armor looks good with the blue clothing i have on very good you guys out here looking sexy as hell man just taking because of the good plates and it vendors well um without the plates it vendors for like 120k a little more actually it vendored damaged it was like 45 durability it vendored for 122k to fence without plates and this has level six plates and i don't know how much the plates actually vendor for I'm going to vendor the entire thing, so we'll find out. But for a six slot or a nine slot, rather, at, at the base being 122K damaged, I'm sure it's probably going to go for like 130, 140. Then with the plates, I mean, a little bit more. So like for a nine slaughter, why not? We got smoke up, so we can take this extract. Green snow would last until March. I kind of did too. I figured it'd go through through February. Um, halfway through February is fine. There, there was a good portion of the player base that was getting sick of the snow. So, uh, although I, I wanted it to stay. I, I like the snow. I thought it was pretty. I think that was mainly because it was just a change of scenery. And I think a lot of people, um, were annoyed at it being blinding. Which is, it was too bright. But for me, I, I just have played so much on the you know, green version of Tarkov that is nice to have snow. 
made all the maps feel new but i'm okay with it being gone too um nuclear follow ash style weather that'd be pretty cool uh, pretty good raid right there not bad for getting back into it yeah, 220 Those stutters yeah I hope I hope they fix this ASAP is you can feel it drop to like 60 FPS and then back up and then lower That's fucking rude. Drop the red rebel. Uh, sir. Sir. Drop the red rebel. Drop, drop the weapon. Armed and dangerous. Chef, thanks for the tier two, brother. I hope all is well. And yeah, the new update does need some tender love and care. Imagine he went to drop the. Oh. What just happened? It's weird. Teleported. On a side note, I didn't bring in my keys on purpose. Don't need them. I planned on showing how to make rubles on streets without keys. How much FPS are you getting? Anywhere from 60 to 120. And it jumps around. It's constantly a roll of the dice. Are the Bushwickies back? They never left. Fun fact. They just grew stronger with this patch. He's running for the turret. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I saw my life flash before my eyes. You didn't push the button again? We need to sell a lot more stuff first. There's my daily completed. Actually, what I was coming here for. myself oh is it just the one I thought there was a second one see the jump shot That this wipe. 
the reticle. Uh, the boss Wilcox. Got my grenades back. And another one. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Hit this already. Is that your favorite ho hollow? Yeah. Pop the flare. <laughs> fall in a sketchy spot okay that's actually not in a bad spot <clears throat> those that have max search can search two things at once all this stuff don't mind if I do okay maybe not all of it some of it though server damaged house let's go damaged house Two ups your carry weight and a couple other things. Basically makes it to where you can run while still overweight. Or uh, regain stam while walking while still overweight. So I sell regain and stam in the bottom left. It's a, uh, you could say mini mule. It's, it's, in my opinion, better than a mule. It just drains your HP a little quicker, so you have to combo with a pro patil. Obdoblos 1, there's a chance for it to insta-kill you. I don't know what the rest of this shit does on Obdoblos 1. It's Russian roulette stim. A double is two isn't a Russian roulette stim. It's guaranteed to kill you over time, but you can heal through it. Since I popped the ob two stim, I have uh, max attention now, which gives me a 50% chance to instant search. Press armor is not bugged. Now they fixed that within like a week or a few days after it was discovered. The bug was discovered. We got our daily done. At least one of them. Now we have to kill scabs, but we got the uh this one done. And actually this one. So we got two dailies done. Now we just have to kill scabs. So we can get off streets. Customs was nice. Right. We did one customs and we ran into like seven PMCs. Killed seven PMCs. 
If you do dailies, do you get better rewards for consecutive completions? I don't know, dude, because there, there's been a few times that I haven't completed them. But for the most part, I, I was wanting to test that this wipe and see, and it, it does seem kind of meh. Like, let's see. One of the rewards was good. It's like this one. It's just literally turn over Dr. Lupo's beans. You got lion, gold, gold fire still, and 85k rules and XP. So, like, that one's really good. Exclamation point Tarkov quests. It'll pull up the Wikipedia for Tarkov. And on that page, it'll have an image. I killed a PMC there. I didn't loot. I wonder if I got one with a nade. I, I, there was probably two, dude. There were probably two players, and I got one with the nade. I wonder if I fucking got him with the jump shot. I don't know who else it would have been. I took his dog tag. Then this was the other guy. Because I had the, the dog tag, then a question mark, then the dog tags. And the question mark, and when I killed the last guy, the only one before that would have been the jump shot. And I killed scabs right before him. So it had, it had to have been the grenade jump shot. I don't think it could have been anyone else. I'm going to turn in my dailies. So like this daily, MRE pack, pack of sugar, can of green peas. Yeah, a little bit of profit, but overall, like nothing crazy, right? I just kind of do the dailies as something extra to do. I mean, we'll go eliminate scabs now. So, where'd you get the book? Lightkeeper. Doing doing lightkeeper tasks. We're we're done with lightkeeper tasks now. I just have um the one to kill each of the bosses 15 times. Which will get done naturally. I'm not hunting the AI that doesn't like to spawn. Let's we'll do that over time. <laughs> 